What is happening guys, back at you with another video. So we recently had the newest Alien movie, Alien Romulus, now in theaters. If you haven't checked out my review on that, go check it out on the channel now. But the time has come. The time has come to rank all of the Alien movies in the Alien franchise. So I recently did rewatch most of the Alien movies in preparation for this video and in preparation for Alien Romulus. So I'm going to be ranking all nine Alien movies. So let's go ahead and get into it. Coming in at the bottom is definitely going to be my least favorite of the Alien movies, and that's going to be Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Now, with this movie, this one is definitely... Uh, this this movie, I gotta say, this movie, this movie right here. <laughs> this movie is so dark, and I mean literally, it's dark. It's dark as fuck. You literally can't even see anything in this movie. This just like It's like, what happened to this movie to where they... Did they not like have a budget for this movie to where they couldn't afford lights or something? Because it's like literally dark throughout the whole movie the majority of the movie is like dark you couldn't see anything can't see shit <laughs> to just to say like what the hell happened other than that though this movie is definitely doesn't have too many good things going for you know you, the connections to the characters you don't you don't form those kind of connections you don't get invested in those characters and like the way that alien versus predator left off with that tease at the very end that gets you hyped and you go into this movie so hyped you want to see that all that like you know that paid off and it's like this movie just fumbles the ball and it just like literally no good things, really no good things out of here. You know, maybe some good action going on with the uh, Predators and Aliens. That's about it. The Pred Alien looks kind of cool when you can actually see it. <laughs> but other than that, there's really nothing good about this movie. We get to Alien 3 and with Alien 3, this one is definitely a frustrating one. This one is definitely a frustrating one when it comes to fans because of the thing they do at the very beginning of the movie to where they kill off some characters and that really just undoes everything from the previous Alien movie. Uh, this is a frustrating one. I will say, even though it is a little frustrating for that part, it's still a somewhat watchable movie. I can still watch this movie. And I won't say I have a good time with it, but like I can still watch this movie. You know, it's a watchable Alien movie. I uh, got a couple good scenes here and there, you know, action scenes, whatever, xenomorph stuff going on. Uh, other than that, I don't honestly don't even typically go back to rewatch this movie a whole lot. So yeah, that's that's just some of the stuff that puts it more at the bottom for me. Alien Resurrection. Now this one was actually a more recent. I want to say it's not first time rewatch, but it's a rewatch that I because I haven't seen this movie since like probably since I was a kid, or you know at least seen majority of it since I was like a kid. So this was like a little refresh or a little rewatch that I got to see after a good many years. And I gotta say, with this movie, this one's a weird one. This is definitely a weird one. We all know the trope to where movies with resurrection in the title tend to not be a good movie or, you know, just fail miserably. And I'm not going to say this one is the exception, but this one definitely lingers on to like living up to that trope. Now, it's not like I had high expectations going into this movie when I went to go watch it, but this movie is definitely weird, disgusting at times. This whole deal with cloning stuff, which tends to not go great in other movies, so... I don't know why they decide to do it in this movie. Made a decision and it was wrong. It was a bad call, Ripley. It was a bad call. To where they clone Ripley and bring her back, and this whole trying to capture, you know, get a xenomorph. And the whole process of that just was to just clone her so they could get a xenomorph. And I don't know where mumbo some <laughs> jumbo science stuff going on in this movie. But your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. There were times in this movie where I was thinking to myself, what am I watching? <laughs> uh, man. I honestly laughed at how weird this movie was. It, it's, it's definitely not a great movie, but it's on that entertaining scale to where it's it's kind of bad to where it's kind of entertaining bad. And that whole third act with like the whole baby hybrid alien thing, that's just plain weird. Um, not a great plan. Oh no, I'm, I gotta say, that's just plain weird and it, it was just, <laughs> what the hell? What the hell are they thinking? What the hell are they doing? Honestly, this movie is just entertain. It's on the entertainment level of this movie is based on watching it and making fun of it and laughing at it on how weird and this movie is. And we get to Alien Covenant. When well, this movie is very interesting, I haven't seen it. This was probably my second time watching it ever because I only remember watching it the one time when it came out. And this was, you know, the whole sequel to Prometheus, to where it was basically trying to show us the whole origin of the Xenomorphs. And I gotta say. It definitely feels over convoluted in this movie. It really does. Like it tries to explain and tries to set up some things to where it's sort of giving us the origin to Xenomorphs and how they were created in a way 
it just feels over complicated over you know convoluted and just feels a little weird like i had to like actually pay attention to certain things in this movie because i was like getting lost a little bit and i had to like really pay attention to what they're trying to explain and all that when it comes to this movie michael fassbender is definitely the highlight of this movie just like he is in prometheus and just the interesting like he just plays this interesting character and he just puts on his master class of acting to where there's actually two versions of him in this movie and the way that you see them you know have conversate and you know talking to each other going back and forth having a conversation about like philosophy or you know he's trying to explain the whole origins of the xenomorphs and things like that it's very interesting that he's able to do that in the way that he they do in this movie to where he literally is like talking to himself or talking to another version of, of himself so he's literally putting on two different performances and it's just a highlight to be able to see that master class of acting going on with him and i do like how this movie is definitely gory and brutal at times just the way the use of you know xenomorphs or you know the the organisms the creatures coming out of people or you know breaking themselves out of people and just being able to attack people and just how brutal and gory it is i do like those scenes the twist in this movie uh, I was kind of leaning towards it, like I kind of was, you know, clocking it a little bit, but it's still a nice little twist in this movie. And we get to Prometheus. With Prometheus, this was promised as the sort of explanation, you know, giving us uh, this idea of basically explaining and giving us the origin of Xenomorphs in a way. And I was kind of excited that, about that, you know, they announced this movie beforehand and basically saying that this movie was going to dive into the origins and explanation of Xenomorphs. And I was kind of curious. I was interested in that idea. Honestly, I could watch this movie. I don't have a bad time watching this movie. And it does explain some things. and But it, it just feels like it doesn't fully explain some things. So that's why they have to make another movie. So, I don't know. I guess it's like more slower paced on explaining things. And really draw, dragging stuff out when it comes to explaining things about the whole aliens and xenomorphs and stuff and then this whole philosophy of creation itself and all those things like that in this movie it does definitely have some interesting concept and ideas like i was saying michael fassbender is definitely the highlight of this movie to where we're seeing the way he plays this character of david and it's very interesting he's he plays a very interesting character in this movie so honestly when it comes to this movie in the alien franchise i think this is at least a solid addition and we get to my guilty pleasure and i think this this movie is definitely it might be a hot take at this spot, but that's going to be Alien vs. Predator. I love this movie. <laughs> I love this movie. Like I said, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I get a kick out of this movie. I could just put this movie on and I, and I just rewatch it and rewatch it ever so often and just have fun with this movie. The way that this movie uh, just has these two icons come together and clash. It's just fun to see on screen. Of course, it's not a great movie. But it does enough for me to where I have fun with this movie and it's just I enjoy this movie a lot. You know, it has the simple plot to try to get these two icons together on screen. So with this movie, I just get a, I just get a kick out of it. It's a lot of fun. And it leads off on that that last ending tease that gets you hyped for the second film. Unfortunately, that tease leads to Requiem, which isn't a good movie. But other than that, I like this movie so much. And next on the list, we get to the newest Alien Romulus movie. So with this one, I think this is definitely a solid addition to the Alien franchise. This is a movie where I've been waiting a long time for. For the most part, it's a movie, it's an Alien movie that I've been waiting for. Like I said, for the most part, if y'all didn't check out my review, go check it out now. Where I give my full explanation of everything. But like I said, almost for the most part, it came so close to being that Alien movie that I wanted. And then for the most part, it is kind of the Alien movie I do want. But that third act is definitely what go the way they go in that direction that direction they go with in the third act is not a direction i like to be honest it's going to time will tell if i end up coming around on that whole direction they go it's going to take a couple more viewings or at least some time you know to tell whether or not i come around on that whole direction but as of right now after one viewing i do not like the direction they went with so far it just is very reminiscent to a previous alien movie so i don't like the i don't like the direction that they went other than that, I like everything else about this movie. Uh, the sense of horror, bringing back a sense of horror in this movie. I love that. I enjoyed that so much in this movie. Uh, the way that they're able to bring back suspense, a sense of dread, a sense of tension, a sense of danger back into this movie or back into the Alien franchise with this movie is some of the things I love about this movie that I really enjoyed about this movie. I like everything about this movie to where the, the use of practical effects in this movie amazing sound design was great atmosphere vibes everything like that going on in this movie was all done so well just the downside of that is just the third act direction they went that's the only bad thing about this movie in my opinion everything else 
was on level, so is on par with everything else like that. It was amazing what they were able to do with this movie so far. And I liked everything about this movie except for that third act. So when it comes down to it, this is definitely better than some of the other Alien movies in the franchise. A solid addition to the Alien franchise. And honestly, this is definitely a movie I will go back to rewatch more often. And coming in at the number two spot is going to be the first original Alien movie. I love this movie. When it comes to Alien movies that I go back to rewatch more often, this one is definitely one of them. The way that they have this slow paced build up in the beginning of the movie to where you see this crew, you see these characters, you try to get have the uh, form these connections with them, get invested with them. That way that when you have this whole build up and that's when that way when you finally get to that point to where a chest burster just pops out randomly. You know, and nobody is expecting it at the dinner table. And one thing one thing I did learn and find out was that they literally did not even tell the actors either that that scene was, or, you know, during that scene while they're filming it, they didn't even tell the actors that that was going to happen. So they wanted to get their genuine reaction to it. It's awesome. It's awesome to see that, be able to see that in the movie and you get their genuine reaction to actually seeing the chest burster for the first time. From that scene on, you get this sense of the horror vibes. You get the sense of suspense and dread and uh, danger. Even though they're just dealing with one alien at the time, one xenomorph at the time, you it literally is taking this crew down one by one, whoever it comes into uh, interactions with. And it's just a sense of danger, a sense of suspense, and everything that it deals with diving into the horror elements of things. I love this movie so much. Honestly, I like a lot of things about this. This is definitely the top tier when it comes to Alien franchise itself. This is the movie I go back to rewatch more often than not when it comes to the Alien movies. So this was definitely a first install, like you know, as the first installment to Alien franchise, first movie. This set the bar. This is an amazing movie. Coming in at the top spot, and this is going to be if I had to pick one Alien movie as my favorite Alien movie, that is going to be this one. Aliens directed by James Cameron one of the things I liked about this movie that this movie really brings a sense of action This is the movie that brought the action and mixing it with the horror elements and horror vibes of things To deal with all this whole xenomorphs and aliens going on And I like how they brought in the colonial marines in this one You got a, a great cast of characters with them to where you're invested with these characters You get to go on this journey with these characters and see how each one of them is a different personality and you get to like them you get to you know see what they're all about you know one of my favorite <laughs> marines in this movie is bill paxton he's uh funny in this movie man, it's game over man it's game over just how outlandish he is at times the way that he just jokes around and all the marines kind of joke around with each other is funny at times also too so it's a fun time with them on screen seeing them on screen it's a fun time but this is the movie to where ripley really becomes a more of a badass in this one to where she takes on this character, plays this character, and she just becomes more of a badass in this one. The way that she becomes, uh, plays a more maternal role in this one also to where she forms this relationship uh, with Newt. And takes on that level to where she is more maternal in this one. She tries to take care of Newt. So it's a nice little relationship they form in this movie. And then this movie to where they have to take on a whole, a whole horde of xenomorphs. I, I like how they are they're able to do that. They have to take on a whole horde of a xenomorphs and then you finally get introduced to the queen alien finally get introduced to like who is laying all these eggs you get that whole big old third act climactic battle that's awesome to see to where ripley tries to take on the queen alien it's awesome and you know she <laughs> tells her iconic line in there get away from her you bitch <sighs> so when it comes down to it, i love this movie so much it's awesome this is the movie that i go back to rewatch whenever i'm in the mood to watch an alien movie or see some xenomorphs on screen this is the movie i go back to more often i just this movie is awesome like i enjoy this movie so much it's awesome i like this movie so much it's just amazing and awesome but do let me know down in the comments below how would you rank all the alien movies in the franchise but that's going to do it for this video hopefully you all enjoyed it remember to subscribe and turn notifications on so you know i post another video hope you have an awesome day i'll see you on the next one